Hello, I'm Carol Millington and I'm one of the directors of GAP and Sonia and Claire asked me if I'd do a GAP video for lockdown um, and I want to talk about collage today which is one of my favourite things to do in art. I'm, I'm in lockdown in London, so I'm, I usually work in a studio. This is my kind of, uh, my home studio I think you should call it, which means it's just a room which I use to make messes in. Uh, there, are, there are lots and lots of different kinds of collage and all it means really is, is cutting things up and sticking them on paper. That's it. nothing more special about it than that. I want to show you a few examples of some of my favourite artists who use collage over the years. first one is um, Picasso. He did everything, obviously. So he did this over a hundred years ago. If you can see it. Uh, the next one is by a oops, by a German artist called Schwitters, Kurt Schwitters, who I really love. He was fantastic at collage. He was an artist who did a lot of painting, but he had to leave Germany because he was Jewish uh, just before the war. Finally ended up in the Lake District where he had no money. So the only thing he could do was to pick up bits of paper and bus tickets and so on and make collages out of them, and very fine ones he did too. So that's Schwitters. The next one, and there are lots of them, I've just chosen four. The next one is, uh, there's a very small one, but there's a, another German artist called Hannah Hoch, who did fantastic surreal uh, collages, very often using just newspapers to cut her pieces out of. She had a very weird view of life, and I think they're rather lovely. And the last one, which you'll probably be familiar with, are the collages of Matisse, who when he was could no longer paint, he cut out pieces of paper, sometimes very, very large pieces of paper, and stuck them and essentially created a new fine art form. Well, I'm not like any of those artists who are all rather special, but I just have fun. And I've got two main kinds of collage that I like doing. The first one is using coloured pieces of paper as if they're paint. So I usually take magazines or newspapers and, I don't know if you can see this Michael, and if I want some yellow, there's some good yellow you see. So all I do is take it out, there's some yellow, and cut that out into tiny little pieces. And there's a bit of green, you know, there's a bit of purple. So it's a, it's a very simple, rather, um, time-consuming process. That's how you get that's how you get the colours. Having done that, you sort them out. I thought I'd, I'd do a rainbow, because that's an easy thing to demonstrate and it's of the moment. So I sorted all my colours out and I've put them as if it's an artist's palette. So it's Richard of York gave battle in vain, isn't it? Red, orange, yellow, I put them not in order, green, blue, one of those indigo, one, that indigo violet, that's right, <laughs> it's that way around. Um, and then all you need is a Pritt stick, a piece of paper or card, card is better if you've got it, and then you start sticking it down. And I won't bore you by going through the entire sticking process, but maybe we'll come back to this at the end, and I'll, I hope to sit, show you a completed version. So you can do something small like this, and for me, I think it's fine if the if the pieces of paper are slightly different sizes and if they're slightly different colours because it gives it much more energy and life. So you can see the greens are all slightly different. Those yellows, that was clearly a yellow flower there. And it gives it a bit of texture and a, 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 a bit of a vivacity. So let's just put a little bit of this one on. I think this is next. Never quite understood about indica and violet. Here we are. And they're a little bit too big, so all you do is cut them in half. And off we go. So, I'll finish that one later on. Just to show you one I made earlier, <laughs> in fact, quite a lot earlier, it was about five years ago, I took a photo of a tree I particularly liked in Edale. Let's see if we can bring it round. And I cut out very large amounts of pieces. In fact, these ones I tore. I didn't cut these, I tore them. And if you look closely, you can see the little bit of white from the tear mark. 
see and what that does is it gives the whole piece a bit of a shimmer as if the tree is moving but that took that took a long time that was done on a kitchen table um, and it was on a piece of cardboard which is where it's gone a bit wonky and for some reason I couldn't cut a straight line but apart from that I was quite pleased with it and I quite like the hills are made out of little pieces of paper which are actually if you look at them closely little flowers some of them so there we are that's collage by cutting or tearing pieces of paper and sticking them onto a background using them very much as you would use paint I'm sorry about the drilling in the background the 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 next door to us a flat is being totally torn apart and rebuilt and every now and again you get drilling let me just see if that rainbow has magically completed itself and I think it has yes there we are there's the final version of the rainbow Oops. and again you'll see a little variation in the colors I, I rather like that right what I'd like to do now is move on and talk about a completely different kind of collage making, which I very much enjoy. So we're going to have a little pause while I wipe the table down and start again. Right, this, this other kind of collage making, which I really enjoy doing, is, is quite different, although it is about sticking pieces of paper on paper. I've got a large collection of postcards. I seem to pick them up wherever I go. And for this, I use postcards, but you could use anything. You can use magazines, whatever. And I take a postcard and I just cut out of it the image that takes my fancy. So if it were, for example, this is a, this is a David Hockney photo montage. So that's his mum. So I could, for example, just cut his mum out, or I could just cut Bolton Abbey out. I think it's Bolton Abbey. Yes, it is. Or Hannah Hoch, who, uh, who was the German uh, collage maker. I could just cut that face out, or I could just cut that rather nice leg out, or it's what she's done is just cut an eye out. So rather than you having to watch me cut things out of postcards, I, I cut a lot of things out earlier. I then take a card, and this is the bit which is not easy to explain. I just try and work out what will go with what and what will make an interesting, if rather unusual, picture. Now, very often that's about putting colours together. So you may recognise that as a David Hockney sunflower, which indeed it is. So there's a sunflower. Here's a, here's a little yellow car. Uh, what else have we got? There's some yellow and orange paints. Ah, here is a Toulouse-Lautrec, I think that is. There we are, so they go quite nicely together. Uh, oh, and we've got a thin blue line here. Will that fit in? Might be too much. Oops, we could put the car up there. Or, even better, what we've got here, we've got a little, that's a little bit of Cezanne, I think. So that, that, for example, that could make one card. Let's see if we can do anything with the others. I won't actually uh, glue them down now. So he's rather wonderful. He's from the British Museum, I seem to remember. There's also postcards with them, um, with writing on them. There's a nice suffragette one. Uh, this was a, this was a an arch of a medieval hall. Uh, again, I'm going for colour colours that go together here. Essentially, you just play around until your brain says, oh, that's a nice combination. And nobody can tell when that's going to be, including you. Ah, that little, she's a John Singer Sargent girl, I think. 
You will notice that like all the best artists, I just steal things from other artists. It's not called stealing in the artistic world, it's called appropriation, as if that makes it any better. Ah, now this might be good. Look, here we've got an Orkney wheel, and here we've got a cat. If we put the cat through the wheel, we come up with um, a cat and a wheel. And the suffragette slogan. And a tiger. That's a, that's a Blake tiger. And it will either John Singer Sergeant Girl. So that's another possible one. See if we can do anything with what's left over. So this was um, this was used on a postcard. This is theatre. I, I cut the middle of the theatre out to see if there's a picture I'd like to put in behind it. And yes, that's the one, I think. That made a nice picture for him. Ooh. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He's, a, he's rather jolly. And I found this on another card. And then there's another little bit of red there we could pop there. And over here, this was a lovely uh, medieval building um, which we found by accident when we were driving through Wales. But you can see round, isn't that lovely? And here's, I can't remember what this one's from, but he could be sitting there, couldn't he? And they could be having a chat over here. That's a very lovely Posy Simmons. Why they would be standing in a cup, I don't know, but they might be. Why not? Ah, uh, maybe that's where John Singer Sing Sergeant's girl fits in. And we could call it the room of one's own. There we are. And we'll have one last go. I think you've probably got the idea by now. Which is, uh, this is a blue lot. That was uh, an early, um, promotional postcard for the Lake District. There's some lovely blue bits of paint. Maybe, ooh, that'd be quite fun there, wouldn't it? Maybe we steal it from up there. And, so, oh, we haven't used this one. I rather like him. He's great. He's African. Ooh, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Why don't we put them there? Not sure about that one. Have to come back to that. Anyway, I think you've got the idea. It's your, you, only you can judge when you think the things have gone in the particular form that makes you happy, because that's what it's all about. And I do have some that I've made some years ago. And if Michael could zoom round when I get them out of the drawer, which is just behind him. I tend to send them to people as birthday cards. Um, some people are totally confused by them and some people seem to like them. So here we are, here's one, which I, I can never bear to send to anybody because I'm very fond of it. This is a lady called Artemis Artemisia Gentileschi, who was a, 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 an artist, a woman artist, which is unusual enough, in the 17th century. So there she is, and, and there's um, a goldfish pot I found somewhere, and there, that came from something completely different. And I put them all together, and there she is, catching fish.
Uh, that's Ai Weiwei, the artist, that bit of it. But I've put him on top of somebody else's face. <laughs> and um, I think possibly an Inca sculpture. And that rather fetching catch. And so on. And, and the, the, the other thing you can do, of course, it doesn't all have to be about images. You can just do it with um, bits and pieces of anything. I, I think I referred to Kurt Schwitters using his, his bus tickets and so on. I like using natural things, little odd bits of material. That's a bit of uh, corrugated card. Cardboard, it's called, isn't it? And again, you just play around with them until you're... Um, until you think it looks good. There we are. So that's collage. And the great thing about it is that it's good fun to do. You don't have to have lots of expensive materials. You need a print stick and a bit of card and you're away. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Bye.